Sin's power is broken. Romans chapter 6, verses 6 6 to 7 and verse 14. Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him, that the body of sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves of sin. For he who has died has been freed from sin. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under law, but under grace. As we talk about overcoming addictions, we must begin with the understanding that the Lord Jesus Christ has come to set the captives free. The second cornerstone or foundation that we need to establish in our hearts and lives as we get ready to walk out into freedom, into liberty and live a life that's completely free is this truth that the Lord Jesus Christ has broken the power of sin when he died on the cross. As we read in the scriptures today, the apostle Paul says that our old man was crucified with him so that the body of sin would be destroyed. Our old man refers to that old sinful nature, all the propensity and the uh, inclination to sin, that old sinful nature was put to death on the cross so that the body of sin, meaning the power of sin or the control of sin over our lives should be broken so that we should no longer be slaves of sin. This is the starting point for you and I to just get an understanding of this truth that the Lord Jesus Christ has broken the power of sin. He's broken the dominion, the control of every enslaving or sinful, addictive uh, habit or uh, desire. He's broken it and he has declared us that we should no longer be slaves of sin. Um, And Paul compares that in verse 7. He says, he who is dead is freed from sin. So imagine a man who is dead. He could have been the worst alcoholic in his life. uh, But now that he is dead, he's unresponsive to uh, any of that now. And that's the way we are. We are dead to sin. And that's why he says in verse 14, sin will no longer have dominion over you. So I want you to embrace this truth. And I want you to begin to speak this over your own life. You begin to say, I, my old sinful nature was crucified with Jesus and the power of sin over my life has been broken and I am no longer a slave of sin. And you can name that addictive uh, behavior or sin pattern that you're struggling with and you call it by its name and you say, you sinful pattern, you, I am no longer a slave to you. Jesus Christ broke your power over my life on the cross and sin will not have dominion over me. So you begin to make that declaration based on what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. Knowing this and and, um, establishing this as a truth uh, in your life and then yielding yourself to God, this is the starting point to walk out into freedom. Sin will no longer have dominion over you because sin's power over you has been broken. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for what Jesus did for us on the cross, that he broke the power of sin so that we are no longer slaves to sin. And even for those listening, Lord, I pray for those who seem helpless, who may seem enslaved, let this truth impart pack their lives powerfully. Let them announce over their own lives that they are free from sin. Sin will not have dominion over them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.